Hello everyone, welcome to GED and our playthrough of Total War Warhammer 2 with Malekith. So, um, I got tired of these raiders up in our Northlands just raiding our provinces and I think I'm going to try to kill them. Um, yeah, definitely going to kill them. I'm gonna, basically going to do a sweep. I'm going to sweep all the way around here and just come down and crush the Skaven, crush the raiders, crush everyone with Malekith. Uh, I think that basically we have a plague priest running in, we have raiding going on, everyone's going to hate us. So we only have one option really to keep our loyalty in check while we're up here in the north is to sacrifice to a shardy, to a thardy, a shardy, whatever. Public order plus eight. Uh, we're going to do it. We're going to sacrifice some slaves. The great sacrifice. Now we have the ability in our provinces even though they're being raided and sacked and everything and we unfortunately are at the end of a turn here so we just gotta plow through this massive uh, amount of troop running through I don't know whatever factions yeah this girl is basically gonna be our rebellion quasher um, she pretty much just rolls around with her small little stack Taking care of rebellions and doing her job. Uh, let's see what she can do. I'm wondering if our sorceress is proficient enough to take out this plague priest, because I'm tired of him spreading plague within our realms. Uh, the Norsemen up here were once our friend, but they have they have chosen. Oh, are they gonna ask for a peace treaty? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no. You've you've made your bed. You've raided enough. Look at this. And he turns around and raids my settlement. Uh, do we have walls here? I don't think we have walls. I think we might actually be able to win this. I'm gonna try to fight it. It's very very hard because we have no general. We're gonna see what we can do. Yeah, I don't know if we can actually win this. They have javelin ears, but we have pavilioned crossbowmen. Ugh, it's it's going to be a toss-up. They might just choose to raid us. All right, um, I'm just going to go for a standard stack here. Uh, we'll leave it like that. Let's go. Dark shards. Maybe we can take out their leader? Do they have more range than us? No, I think it's pretty even. We have a little bit more range. Uh, our leader unit, which unfortunately is a great so or a dark sword, bleak sword, he's going to have to stay behind while our men basically try to defend here. Dark shot! Try to guard our men while they load those bolts and open fire. Alright, here it comes. Nagarothi! Dark shots. The merciless host. Bleed them. Ford. I'm weary of battle. Yeah, it's looking like we just don't have the leadership. We just don't have the leadership to, to win this fight. 
Unfortunate. Bleak swords. Massacre them. It's mainly because we don't have a hero. We just don't have enough don't have enough to take them out. Uh, and I keep accidentally hitting that button. So anyways, uh, we'll just we'll just take it as a loss. It just has to be done. We did good though. That guy uh, took out quite a bit. Oh man, they slaughtered us, didn't they? Look at all those kills. That's a ton of kills. That is very unfortunate. Now we get to see if they're going to sack it or actually destroy it. If they destroy it, I'm going to be displeased. Very displeased. It's kind of a dangerous city to hold anyways. Oh, no, they just sack and run. Just to plummet my leadership, you better get out of my lands. What are you are you gonna sneak by behind me? What what is going on here? Now he's camping in my lands. Okay. Not cool, dude. Not cool. You draw the ire of Malekith. Yeah, of course you would run down here. Spreading misery. Of course. De destroy them. Uh, that's a lot of slaves and replenishment. We need the replenishment and the slaves. And we need to start heading up towards their territories to get rid of them. Alright, so... This is going to be a gamble. We're going to try to kill this guy. Get him out. Oh, positive outcome 40%, negative outcome 60%. Let's take the gamble. Ho-ho! <laughs> A rising assassin. We killed him and we get an assassin. Yes. Very, very good. Sorceress of now she can't get back in the army. I can feel their power. Okay, we need to reinforce. Um, we need to reinforce the eastern border. No, the western border. Malekith will soon march into the wastes. Uh, let's see. We can upgrade some stuff here in Grand. We'll upgrade the gold mine of Grand for massive income boost. And we now have an assassin to join Malekith. Uh, Nonus. Nonus? Does Malekith have room in his army? Yes, he does. Nonus, feel free to run up to your lord and join him. Damage buildings, of course. Repair them, repair them. And we have a lot of slaves, so... Malekith finally gets a chance to get Blade Wind or more for his, uh... Wow, he... That is so good. The Ward of Cain, so good. Oh man, so many choices. We have a big decision this round. I think I'm going to go with Blade Wind. Blade Wind is just too amazing. It literally wins games by itself. Our uh, Sorceress becomes better at wounding people. She's actually more of an assassin than our assassin. Which is pretty amazing. And now we get to cycle through the endless amount of heroes. You are about to be destroyed. I suppose I should give my sorceress some sort of useful fire spells now. <laughs> because half the time she does sit in that other army.
What? All shall be mine. Dreadlord, awaiting command. Moving! Ever vengeful. Preparing to march. Seeking depravity. Okay, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, we can upgrade or build something else here. What do we need in Ashrak? We really need those walls. He, he interrupted our wall building. Because Northmen come through here all the time. Hence, this little debauchery going on here. Nagaron's actually minus leadership, which is surprising. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of loss, but we're going to destroy these raiders, so get them out of our lands. We're just churning through our money, too. Population surplus. I wonder how our High Elf brethren are doing down there. Probably just chilling. Defending from the vampire coast that always seems to ravage Ulthuan. It happens. It tends to happen. I'm hoping the Skaven over to our west haven't become obscenely strong. Like, they can build huge stacks and hide from us, so that's the problem. We're gonna have to go in almost blind. All right. Well, this is a pretty easy win, so I'm just gonna auto go in, and we're actually gonna we're actually gonna slave it. It's gonna rebel, but we're gonna stay up here for a little bit because we have to go around here and then backtrack a little bit. Okay, treasury, yes. Oh, the circlet of iron battle. Okay. Um, we have to do the battle. Oh yeah, the chaos battle. Harkaldra can get a little bit bigger. Um, the stonemason's workshop can grow. I'm just focusing on economy really right now. Where did that raider go? Is he running back up to his lands? Or is he... Um, oh yeah, that's the battle. Um, or is he kind of petering around here somewhere? We're neutral with Marathi, or not Marathi, uh, Hellebrand, right now. I command you now. Sit in the city, kind of no quash the rebellion for now. Nagaron's kind of chilling out. Uh, what's corruption? Ooh, corruption and instability is kind of what's causing it. Okay, most of our areas are kind of chilling out. Not being so crazy. Uh, let's see, what can we do here to... Basically nothing, just reinforce this place and then we're out of money. We have quite a bit of slavery going on. Oh yeah, our, our, our uh, assassin's trying to get into our army, isn't he? Yes, he is. Okay. Keep forgetting about him. Technically, there are some people to assassinate here. Power. The power over life and death, for example. Oh, hello, Brond. Hello. Defensive alliance? Sure. Why not? I will help you defend against the Northmen. You are more than welcome to join my coven. <laughs> or, uh, harem, rather. Or he is Malekith. Clan Septic has to be destroyed. No ifs, ands, or doubts about it. They're setting on our artifact. 
but first the northerners i really hope they don't have a city over here too because that's going to be annoying because they're going to keep coming down keep coming down looks like they ran from us all right join the old army got some technology uh, this is actually plus three, but the minute we step out of this city, it's going to go all to hell. Uh, marching or walking, it really doesn't matter. We're still going to attrition. Let's see if he's got a stack over here. He does not have a stack over here. Um, Skaven corruption is still so high up here and so high in Nagarond, it has to be gotten rid of. Uh, keep focusing on our income. Just build that supply chain up and up and up. Uh huh. These, uh, we're doing pretty good here. Elbron is just chilling. Chilling at. Uh, military Alliance? Fine. Alright, cool. Military Alliance it is. Now we can see into her territories. And uh, we'll take it at that. Uh, we can't really do much in terms of trading because we have no nearby enemies or allies or whatever. So this place needs... I'm not sure what this place needs. It's going to rebel, so we're not going to build anything right now. We're going to save our money. Pick a new research. Let's get growth. Our military is kind of lagging behind in terms of research, but it's all good. Growth and infrastructure is very important in the first, I don't know, 60 turns or so. Just keep going up those trees. This guy better get a stack or he better summon a stack from another city because he's about to be quashed. Even with the attrition, now that Malkith has Bladewind, he can literally destroy armies. Ah, the Norskan Hordes. They'll pay us for a peace treaty. Okay. I, I don't know where you guys are, but I'll do it. Is this all they can muster? Some Marauders? Is that it? Okay. Um, if this is your last city, and I hope it is, say goodbye. Uh, okay, this is interesting. They do have, they do have more units. Oh, it's because the settlement garrison is pretty big with Norskins and trolls, and we're a little bit weakened. But let's uh, let's go ahead and fight it out. They have a decently sized army. It won't stand against us, but it's decent. Mung, the Mung beans. We do have that level one assassin now. He's going to be plinking, plopping little shots here and there. Malekith does have his cold one, so he's going to be riding around, dropping some blade winds of terror. Uh, whew, what should I do? Let's find a good place to put the bolt thrower. There really is no good place to put the bolt thrower except for on this hill. So the bolt thrower will be on the hill, I guess. And everyone else... We're attacking, so I'm just going to do a big line of troops here. Uh, we're going to put them in that. We're going to put uh, the chariot and Malekith together, because they're our fastest units. And then the assassin is going to lead this mess of dudes. Dark elves. All right, uh, let's go. Bolt thrower, uh, take down the trolls, I guess. Oh wait, take down the werekin. Absorb some energy from the chariot. Advancing. 
guess I can just drop a uh, blade wind already pretty much we'll drop it right in front of them to see if we can just hit them for a little bit of damage as they come through and then go hide in the forest oh wow that that blade wind already chopped up some troops uh bolt thrower just hit the javelins um let's see we're gonna have to just clash with them aren't we we'll just uh stall their entire front line here with a nice chill wind make them slow down blade wind's already back up uh there you go three two one and blade wind in the middle of your troops gosh it just destroys people didn't really go where I wanted it to. I will have destruction. Okay, we're not going to fight ice trolls with Malekith. But we are going to begin queuing up some some charges here. Without question. We'll just kind of individually assign them. Bloody murder. We are ready. I'm just going to, you know, kind of send them out. Uh, dark shards might want to shift a little bit, but I think they're good for now. Take those trolls down. Uh, Malekith, you kind of blew through a lot of power there very quickly. <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're gonna charge this this you know trolls. Uh, these dark shards can rotate. He can start shooting at the werekin. Back up a little bit. Uh, you guys don't got to chase that far. This battle's kind of being lost by the Black Guard here. They're going to need some reinforcing. They are taking out the Werekin, though. Again, stop, stop chasing that far, please. Malekith and the Chariot can do their, their job here. Battle ready. Bolt throwers uh, launch into the berserkers. Malekith and Chariot come in for a charge. He's going to drain some more health off of the... Uh, let's do it off this spear unit. And actually, let's do it off the Chariot again. Get our power flowing. Ooh. Super power reserves. Oh, and the, sta the scales will begin to tip. As the murder begins. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Halt. Stop. As you, say. Dark you guys need to not chase, okay? <laughs> don't Black chase Guard. anything. The Black Guard are still holding. I don't know where the Werekin went. He's still out here somewhere. We're going to chill wind right down their line here. Hear my words. Oh yeah, that broke him. That chill wind broke him. And then let a little bit of chasing. Just a little bit of chasing. Da 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 da. Benny Hillet. Benny Hillet just to get some extra kills. Extra slaughter. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Actually went quite well. The uh, bolt door did a lot of work. That chariot actually did a lot of work too. And of course, Malekith. Uh, where's our Nagara? Uh, they didn't really... They killed the Skin Wolves. They were fighting Skin Wolves, so they did pretty good. And these Spearmen just mopped up some Marauders. Alright, now please be the last settlement... The last little settlement of the Hmong people. Uh, super thirsty. Ooh. Oh wow, that's a lot of sacking, isn't it? Ooh. Loot and occupy or sack it to the ground. Destroy everything. Leave nothing behind. Loot and occupy. Take those slaves. <laughs> okay. Uh, was that? 
Was that their last settlement? I don't think it was. But we did get... Oh yeah, the Hmong were, leaders, were uh, destroyed. This place is going to be so hard to hold. Um, we're going to need... We're going to need order. How many... This can go up to level 5. So we're going to need some public order, definitely. And we're going to need some slave pens. We're going to need some defensive walls. Because <laughs> there's going to be raiding going on. There's going to be rebellions all the time up here. Ugh, 47? Yeah. I mean, Malekith might as well just stay there for a turn or two. Favored of the Witch King. Although she could probably come up. 47. Yeah, it's literally going to rebel next turn. They hate us. <laughs> they totally hate us. Oh, Nagaran can upgrade the seaport. Heck yeah. Imminent rebellion. <laughs> Where does it rebel from? From here? Well, we'll find out. Olana, our dreadlord. Um, she's going to have to increase her infantry because they need to be better. Commandment. Uh, we're going to have to do growth and income. No, we're going to have to do public order, right? Okay. Uh, ooh, destroyer. We've got quests to get stuff. Um, what's this? Uh, next level overcast available or upgraded. Minus 50 cooldown, less winds of magic, missed cast chance. Or we can make our guys have more melee defense for our guys. Um, or sadistic for Malekith. I think we're going to do line breaker. Got to get our troops way up there. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're doing good. Uh, we can't really... We can do a sacrifice to gain. Uh, let's just wait for the rebellion, guys. Nice. Spawned right near Malekith. Stand before the supreme ruler of Nagaroth. Speak. I love his voice. I mean, he sounds like a Hey, we just allied with those people. Um, okay. I'll... I'm fine with that. I hate the Norskins. This is my land anyways, my realm. <laughs> There's no point in uh, letting the Norskins stay allied with us, because they literally offer us nothing. No trade, no troops. I feel like the Skaven are going to strike at us though. There's another Plague Priest. I knew it. I knew they would start to strike at us. <laughs> Skaven are probably my second favorite race in Warhammer. Just because they were like one of the first armies I ever built on tabletop many, many years ago. Of course you're raiding me. Earn 500 gold from raiding and we get 1500 gold. Okay, that's pretty cool. Sword of Cain has been claimed probably by Tyrion. Tyrion is pretty much always the one who claims that. Get out of my way. Just get out of my lands. Um, I'm gonna take the slaves. Whoa, did he get plus eight versus infantry? That's crazy. And can we march down to the altar? Yes, we can. This could technically be a bad idea. We might want to come back around. Your king has arrived. Uh, sit there for a second. Get just a little bit more... A little bit more... Uh, 
get a bigger black arc. Why not? Negron's kind of hating us right now. All the other provinces are kind of hating us. Why are you hating on us, guys? Taxes and slaves. Oh, we're starting to get too many slaves. Too many slaves. Never thought I'd hear that, <laughs> but it's happening. People are displeased. Uh, we need public order. Harkaladra is not a great place to build public order. Just because it can't go that high. Uh, let's get... Let's get some... Get some basic income and upgrade our growth. Okay, I'm trying to capture the altar in the Rakadu, but uh, we're temporarily stuck here. Maybe I'll just send her up. Oh man, Malekith levels again. Should we give him his chariot? Or should we upgrade his actual abilities? Let's make him sadistic. <laughs> he is sadistic. And he's level 11, so we gotta start planning our skills a little bit. Um, definitely want to go more down the red tree, but at the same time I also want Malekith to have some upgrades here. Magical reserves. I want magical reserves, but we have to lock invasion, which requires four points in the last. And then gaze of malice needs four points in the previous group. Oh wow, they moved that farther up, didn't they? He used to have that earlier. Uh, yeah, he's just got... Oh hey, tyrant's actually really good. More taxes, motivation through fear, income from slaves for all provinces, decline rate. Wow, he gets some crazy stuff. Wow, that is so good. Oh, but you gotta kinda choose between buffing him and buffing the people under his command. a lot of ammunition cold ones I think I want slaughter lord we don't have those units yet but man that makes witch elves so good black guard as well uh, okay, decisions, decisions. Oh, someone gets a point. Our assassin. Income from post-battle loot. Income from slaves. Assassinate. Dance of death. Um, I'm going to make him actual combat bound because he's going to be in, in Malika's army permanently, right? So, Mr. Nonus... We do have a ton of slaves for this early in the game. Expanding a little too quickly, maybe. It is only like, what, turn 40-ish? If that, and we're already expanded through most of the northwest region. Oh, this could be dangerous. But I want those Skaven gone, and I want my circlet of iron. I want it. We're going to have to equip the, the lady good enough to just run around as quick as she can to quash rebellions. It's a good thing Malekith kind of shares experience with his dreadlords. Gifts from Cain. 
Lord of the Black All right, Throne. this is gonna tank without military and characters. Yeah, this this leadership is absolutely gonna tank. A vile corruption is spreading. So she is going. Oh man, what's going on with this Nagaron? Calm down. Nagaron's also gonna gonna tank. So we might just like sit and wait it out. Can we raid our own lands? No. Malekith can f force march down out of attrition. Can he get there? It's, it's gonna rebel though. It's absolutely gonna rebel. He has to stay there. Our Kalidra and Nagarond are actually going to rebel. Um, and it's always the main city, so Nagarond's going to be the one to, to rebel. So literally, we're stuck at the moment. Yeah, literally stuck. Alright, our uh, sorceress finally can start going a little bit... A little bit into the flame tree. Uh, jeez, 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 jeez. I can recruit. No, I can't. I'm poor. <laughs> We're spending all our money on boosting our uh, infrastructure here. I'll get to you in a second, Altar of Ultimate Darkness. We're trying. We're trying. The Druki are very restless with all these slaves. I think we're literally just putting them to the lash to increase our gold reserves at the at the expense of our people's happiness. And that Skaven corruption is definitely not helping. Agrief and Car Clar Carond. Oh, the wars of elves. Man, these cities are literally just gonna flip upside down. <sighs> I wonder if she's strong enough to stop a rebellion. Probably not. Malekith. Now we got a plague priest up here causing trouble. Uh, this place, oh, this place is one hundred percent corrupted. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. Cease your provocations. That might be uh, a problem. A very big problem. I did not realize that. Dark Elves can't cleanse corruption very easily either. They just don't have the uh, the abilities. Wow, okay. Tell you what we do. Um, Madness fills the air. This is actually kind of a tricky situation. Can't cleanse these places. They're just gonna constantly rebel. So here's what we do. We um, we march. They're kind of both going to rebel at the same time. There is growing unrest. Uh, I'm kind of... kind of like... tricked out at, at what I should do, because... Malekith steps off this place, and it's going to start to rebel. But we're also going to have a rebellion in Nagarond, it looks like, very shortly. 
At the same time, the Skaven must die. So am I just going to have to play like dance around the rebellions here? And just go in a big circle? If she forced marched, if she forced march, she can get all the way over here. So, I mean, if he marches down as well, it looks like he can almost get out of it. Let's do it. Let's just kill the Skaven. I'm tired of the Skaven. They're annoying as all heck. Watch this place. It's going to flip. Oh, wow. It's still only negative one. Do not vex us further. Uh, interesting. Okay, that's going to flip, though. It's definitely going to flip. Okay, but next turn. Next turn. Ooh, ooh. This is going to be a dangerous ending to this video, guys. There's going to be problems all over the place and almost instantaneously. Let's see how many Skaven we have to contend with. Oh, okay. Um, punish everyone! <laughs> wow, 10,000 gold. On turn start, lords have a chance for... Oh, negative two loyalty? <laughs> okay. Um, I don't want to kill my dread lord. Lecture them on law, call for a feast. Uh, ooh, that's actually pretty good. It'll public order and minus corruption. Call for the feast. Oh, great. Chaos. Orcs are coming. Uh, that's not what I wanted to hear. I didn't want to hear the orcs and the chaos are coming. <sighs> okay. Yes. If you want... Nope, she got to march. So, if she's marching... Cruel Dreadlord. Why can you not move right now? Oh, this is in the way. She can't get around it? Does Malekith have to actually go in solo? Okay, this could probably be one of the worst decisions ever. <laughs> um, oh, this could be so bad, guys. Let's save. <laughs> this is one of those game-ruining decisions that could just be an utter crapshoot if this is like fully stacked level 3 settlement. Well, Iron Frost, prepare to lose your military rule. Oh wow, actually there's no one here. The Witch King is victorious. Do we want more slaves? And a bad little... Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna just, we're gonna just occupy. Nagarond can grow larger. We can finally get, um, yeah, why not? Get our better military building. Okay, now, um... It's only minus one in this right now because Malachus here. So what I'm going to have her do is march up north. Oh, negative. Okay, wait. Uh, 
Okay. Malachus should heal almost a full, and then we're going to try to get a circlet, I guess. Because we have to kill the Skaven out of here. Have to. Their corruption is just festering our entire nation. If only we could be everywhere at once. But you can expand our roster a little bit. Um, it might tip us into the negatives of gold, though. So it might not be the best choice right now. If she can quash rebellions with what she has, we'll let her do that. Oh, the Skull Takers. Warring on Clan Septic, which we're trying to eliminate, actually. Means there's orcs somewhere near us. Okay, so we got growth for all of our provinces. Um, positive leadership is now available. If she steps off, it's still plus seven. If she leaves the province... Still plus two. So run up here. Oh, we're actually destroying the Chaos Corruption. That's good. Uh, oh, she actually stabilized the province. That is amazingly good. Okay, so... Um, what can we build up here? I guess we just keep increasing our income with steady amounts. The Altar of Ultimate Darkness can actually get bigger, which is good. Uh, we're going to pause our Skaven Slaying Escapades. Uh, we're going to save again, actually, <laughs> because this is also a very hard battle here. We're going to fight with uh, the Chaos. And we'll fight this battle and finish off this episode. It's an even fight. Um, Lots of reinforcements, just... My dealers of death. I don't think they're going to be that bad, though. Chaos are never that bad when fighting against Dark Elves. Especially since they have no ranged attacks. And Elves generally have a lot of armor piercing, Dark Elves do. Cinematic. Cinematic? Cinematic. Okay, cinematic failed. These chaos stretches bore me. At least with the Asa, I can enjoy their death screams. Yet. It is a labor that must be undertaken. I claim this altar, not in Cain's name, but mine own. Savants of the Desperate God, I advise you, stay out of my way. If not, you shall face the might of the Truki, and our ways of killing are far more inventive than your own. Dang, Malekith. Um, okay, I'm just going to pause a second here just to kind of get stuff going here. Definitely shoot the Chaos Knights. Uh, let's put these guys into some groupage. Okay, groupage. Oh, you're, you're looking fine. Uh, this guy, these guys, these guys, these guys. Kind of mix the spears up. Uh, you're going to be there, and you're going to... Go right here. 
archers, you're going to halt for a second because I bet the chaos start charging at us because we got bolt throwers and they don't. Uh, Malekith and the uh, chariot can go together. He can also drain some power from... Uh, from from the assassin. Oh, hey, he got scroll of shielding. Sulfur ally, twenty-two percent damage resistance. Not bad. All right, let's go. Dealers in death. Survey your army, choose a formation, and then advance. We're good. Druki. Oh yeah, they run away from us, don't they? Death is coming. Murder awaits. I don't think we want to leave the uh, bolt thrower behind. Bolt so I think Malekith and the chariot will kind of defend the bolt thrower. We don't want to walk into the trap. And it is most definitely a trap. I forget where they come from. I think they come from back here and right here. Uh, I'm not really certain on that, though. Bolt Thor's not too slow. I mean, it's kind of keeping pace. Onward. I guess the Chariot can go do some harassing. Attack. Along with Malekith. the power from pain. Dark shots. We are ready. Did they turn? No, they're still running away. Chariots. That wasn't well targeted, but it'll work. Battle ready. Okay. Uh run away while shooting arrows. <laughs> Chaos can't catch us, so we might as well just run away. That, that's not the target I chose for you guys. Run right into this. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, those Chaos Knights are feeling it. It's not taking very many models off, but it, it's definitely doing damage. Oh, they caught Malekith. Malekith. Kill them. Kill them all. Bleak swords. My blade hungers. Slaughter them. We got spears, bros. Chariot. We got spears. And we got chariots just laying some fire into these Chaos Knights. Lord of Malekith is actually going to damage shield himself. Just because he's in the thick of it right now. Uh, these guys are kind of kind of need to break off getting too bunched up here Bolt thrower needs to move up. Oh, there's the enemy Okay, bolt thrower face this way uh, Actually just hurry up and get into place Hey, why you why you charging my chariots, bro? Okay, uh, archers need to re-rank the battle lines here. Advance, Black Guard are carving through some enemies. Assassin, shoot that guy. In death. Kind of start to form the battle line. Death is coming. Chariot, you can go do some harassment. Um, I'm actually going to say you need to skirmish. Assassin, you guard the archers. Black, guards. Black guard, kind of uh, hang out with some spearmen. Where did Malekith go? Malekith. Get back over here. <laughs> what are you doing? I'll say you can take those Chaos Knights. I'm pretty sure you can. Bleak swords. Clash with these guys one more time. Guys, guys, guys. Battle line, please. 
for all. Hack, cut. Black gods. Their leader's still alive. Fear me. Uh, guys, Bleak swords. please stay Bleak in the battle line. Okay, that's it. Everyone just go on guard mode. No more chasing. <laughs> no more chasing. Malekith's kind of stuck out. He needs to be over here to do some blade winding. This guy's still... Still going after us. Malekith's still fighting over here. He needs to finish these guys and get back over to where he needs to be. True power is ours. Okay, finally broke those guys, and these guys should break fairly soon. Uh, we're just harassing them, harassing them. Okay, Malkith, get back over here. Get ready for some massive blade winds. Charge this unit you know, cast knights. Get him off the field. Dark elves. Bleak swords. Black okay, we're gonna have to bring bring the battle line down. Eager for battle. Dealers in death. For the king! By Drakira! Uh, Malekith, no. No. Bad. Get over here. Spearmen, uh, reinforce. I don't know where. Reinforce here. Bleak Swords, Bleak swords you're the archer guard. Assassin, kind of get over so you can shoot people. Uh, here we go. Uh, prepare to eat it. Prepare to eat it hard. Any moment now, Malekith. Any moment. Oh, power from pain triggered, and this blob is about to be annihilated. Perfect. Didn't go into our own troops. It's just kind of cleaving up there, guys. Uh, let's throw down a chill wind right here. Chariot, you're going off. You're going to... You're going to go into combat versus their leader. You're going to go into combat versus their leader. Blade Wind's almost off cooldown again, but looks like they're running. Spreading misery. Dapper White. Dark Elves. Attack. Glorious destruction. Oh yeah, they are uh they're colliding. Look at this epic fight. Destroy. And they run. Did they say Anathrema? The merciless host, Nagarothi. Goodbye, Chaos. Goodbye. I'll take it. We are heavily into the losses, but uh, we're going to be sitting here for a turn or two anyways. While we try to stabilize the province. Eh, everyone kind of did their fair share. The Chariot and the Bolt Thor were kind of the MVPs of that fight. And these, uh... <laughs> these Black Guard... Super strong now. Alright guys, we'll uh, call this episode here, right after we take the slaves or the income. I'm not sure what we want. I think we want the slaves. Everyone needs more slaves, right? And we do need to replenish our army. Mm. That's not a whole lot of slaves, but we'll take them. Oh, what? Spawned a unit of... Spawned two units of guys? Uh, okay. I won. Okay. Nice. Nice. Oh, yes. 
Wow, plus two power of darkness. Now we can like drain our entire army for just power, power, power. And untainted. He now untaints. And the Bolt Fiends. Probably the, one of the best units, I, in my opinion. So now we're going to untaint. Untaint and... Did I actually want him to go there? I don't think I did. I think I want him to run all the way to Nagarond. Well, maybe not. Maybe yes. Because um, she's going to maintain here. Oh wow, it's actually untainting itself, which is pretty good. I don't know how it's untainting itself. Maybe just because we eliminated the chaos? Uh, upgrade this city first because it's going to be raided all the time. Yeah, Malekith's going to go quell the rebellion when it happens in a couple turns. This is just... I don't know what's going on. I think we have too many slaves. <laughs> Might need to sacrifice to gain. Uh, wow, he can power of darkness crazily good. Um, he can just keep doing it. War leader, minus 10 upkeep for all armies and leadership and post battle loot. Oh gosh, that is so good. Tyrant, public order, and tax rate plus 5%. Oh, that, I want that. That's good. Oh, he gets another point. Oh wait, did he have to choose Tyrant or War Leader? Oh, he did. Okay. I should have read that better. What did I lose? Magic Drop, Lord Recruit, eh, that's not bad. Casualties, eh, yeah, War Leader is not as good as the other one. Tyrant is way better. Um, Because Tyrant gives you income, slave, public order, penalty, minus, uh... Relations with Dark Elves, plus 10 public order. Uh, owning factions favored... Owning factions favored corruption, plus 10 when in own region. Oh, okay. So he is the cleanser of evil. <laughs> he cleanses it out. Growth, plus 25%, and tax rate, 25%. Uh, wow. Motivation through fear. Yeah, that That is good. I Want this I want this to this turn. He is increasing our overall income and love of Slavery, I guess. I don't know. He's <laughs> just being amazing uh, Our <laughs> He's like, gain loyalty or die. <laughs> We're going to make him hawk-eyed. Because assassins basically do most of their damage with, with their uh, hand bow. Okay, so um, we need to... Oh, do we have none? Oh, we don't have money. So we'll do um, leadership. Upkeep. Recruit rank, speed, hmm, red spears, bleak swords, dark shards, black arc, corsairs, and yeah, leadership's really good. It means they never run from combat. Uh, there's still a Skaven alive. And it has to be out of this place. Possibly this place. What can we recruit? We can get our regiment of renowned bolt throwers. If we combine some bleak swords. Do we really need this many spearmen? That is the question. My gut says no. So the oh, we can get the hell of brawny too. Okay. Um. Even though you've been with me so long, 
And you're kind of good. Well, huh. we'll just get these guys first. We'll see how it goes. See how it goes. Okay, um, next. Oh, sorry. That's it, guys. <laughs> next episode. <laughs>